Hello, in this video, we will dis discuss about the certain one pathway. So, what is this? This is basically during the fasting time, it will be activated with a supplementation. What is the supplementation? Reservitrol, that is the during the caloric restriction time, reservitrol will be added in the supplementation or food. So, during a long fasting with reservitrol will trigger the certain gene activation for DNA repair and cell health and cell survival. So in this way here is I am drawing the bigger picture for understanding the somatic cell. So the somatic cell contain a nucleus. All somatic cell contain nucleus and nucleus contain chromosome and chromosome contain histone protein 60% and 40% uh, DNA. So the DNA contain different genes on the different location. So that is known as the locus. And in this way, the gene, a one gene, two gene, three gene, four, there are many genes. Some gene is harmful, some gene is beneficial. So harmful gene should be inactivated, while the beneficial gene will be activated. So in this way, here is the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Is the DNA contain gene in the form of adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. And this nitrogenous species, DNA made up of ribose, sugar, phosphate group and nitrogenous species. Genes can be transcribed to messenger RNA and translate into protein on the basis of requirement. Useful genes should be active. So the cancer controlling mechanism is a very important for the cell survival as well as the cell, uh, our health. So the cancer if the tumor suppressor gene will be methylated in the form of epigenetics, the oncogene will be activated to express to proliferate cell. So in this way here I am drawing the DNA. So the tumor suppressor gene will be inactivated. So the oncogene will be activated because it is the depend to the tumor suppressor gene. So when tumor suppressor gene will be activated, the oncogene will be inhibited while the tumor suppressor gene will be inactivated, the oncogene will be activated. So uh, according to the uh, tumor suppressor gene, so the oncogene will be activated. So the epigenetic mutation lead to cause mostly cancer due to the some tumor suppressor gene will be inactivated due to the methylation rather than the acetylation. So on the other hand, the, the certain one signaling pathway regulates the metabolism. The certain one gene will be activated during the uh, fasting time. So the uh, we will discuss here is the first introduction of the certain one signaling pathway. Though, so the certain one signaling pathway regulates the metabolism, cancer and aging related genes. So aging related gene will be inactivated and on the other hand important things that the aging longevity gene will be activated. And here is the DNA which that's contains certain one gene. And this gene will lead to inhibit the oncogenes as well as both certain one and AMPK are activated by caloric restriction or supplementation of reservoir with the caloric restriction. So the certain one deacetylates LXR genes and which lead to ubiquitination and degradation of LXR protein. So on the other hand, all disease controlled by this mechanism we will discuss here. Let's begin to understand with the cellular mechanism. So here is the somatic cell which that is I am drawing here is again the bigger picture for understanding. This is the cell membrane of the somatic cell. This is the side, uh, cell membrane of the somatic cell contain a, a G couple protein receptor. This G couple protein receptor will bind with a ligand growth factor or apoptotic factor. Growth factor will lead to growth of the cell and division, while the apoptotic is used for the death, death domain, death, death of the cell, apoptosis. So in this way, here is the trimeric intracellular. Uh, domain which contain a GDP inactivation of the alpha subunit the monomer so it will be activated by the GTP and this phosphorylase to go into the adenylate cyclase enzyme will lead to ATP use for the production of cyclic AMP that is the second messenger and pyrophosphate will be released in this way the cyclic AMP can be inactivated for inhibition of the 
ligand result ligand pathway so the phosphodiesterase enzyme will bind to uh, cyclic amp so that means the phosphodiesterase bond will be break down this while on the other hand important thing is that the cyclic amp will be bound with a cyclic amp effector protein after the binding with the effector protein will phosphorylation of the different protein and will lead to increase the endoplasmic reticulum efflux of the calcium with binding with the ip3 which that is ip3 is also produced from the dag pathway and P pip3 pathway i am not discussing about that but is the efflux of the calcium will bind with the calcium calmiodulin dependent protein kinase 2 after this binding with the calmiodulin dependent protein kinase 2 will lead to ampk pathway will activation of the ampk phosphorylation of the ampk and this ampk will lead to trigger the many pathway and also increase the nad plus and on the other hand also transcriptional factor become after the phosphorylation of different protein the cascade of the phosphorylation will lead to trigger the certain pathway gene activation as well as on the other hand basically it's basically important thing you should need to understand that there are many gene for cell proliferation and cell survival so here i am drawing the uh, grapes which that's contain resveratrol and medication as a supplementation a red wine resveratrol with caloric restriction we are adding in this way and chemical formula is this so in this way the resveratrol with caloric restriction we are understanding the best mechanism for understanding the cellular mechanism so when this chemi uh, resveratrol will move into the cell through a channel uh, i don't know but it will be move inside so the resveratrol certain one gene activation dependent with the resveratrol so in this way here is when the uh, resveratrol will enter to trigger the synthetic stack but in this way here is the certain one gene activation and to produce, produce protein polypeptide which contain uh, n terminus and carboxy terminus and catalytic core and in this way the nad plus is used for the production and increase of the certain one uh, acetylation so the acetylation will be occur reservatrol will be trigger the acetylation otherwise it is impossible so remember about that but important thing is that the ampk is also lead to uh, increase the certain one so you can see in this diagram so but on the other hand the synthetic stack is here this is also lead to uh, assisted the allosteric activation and the allosteric activation will be assisted and the catalytic core will contain the glut uh, GLU, glu the glut 2 30 protein this is basically the site of the protein and this is the basically the substrate deacetylation uh, will be occur by the activation of the certain one protein uh, by the acetylation so in this way the acetylation will lead to deacetylation of certain protein which that is uh, produced from the arc pathway to tumor uh, transcription factor and that's produced different type of uh, protein for example p53 acetylation to uh, produce cell cycle and necrotic uh, factor kappa b will produce the apoptosis and the p65 is used for the inflammation and the pgc1 alpha is used for the metabolic uh, regulation and the focus of 1 3 is used for the stress resistance that's all gene will be inhibited by the certain one activation and after this activation the substrate deacetylation will lead to decrease the apoptosis because the nfkb necrotic factor kappa b will be inhibited and deacetylation and dna repair will be uh, uh, increased on the other hand the oxidation stress resistance will be increased and inflammatory response will be decreased and drug efflux will be 
uh, increase and cell survival will be occur so in this way the resveratrol will depend the serotonin 1 will become activate the lipin 1 aging related gene and uh, insulin like growth factor binding protein 1 so in this way the serotonin 1 trigger the lipin 1 gene for activation and to produce a PPR and PGC1 alpha which that is used for the fatty acid oxidation so that is why the fatty acid oxidation will lipid metabolism will be occur and in this way the lipid will be metabolized on the other hand the aging related gene will be inactivated but the longevity gene will be activated to increase the lifespan and decrease the senescence. On the other hand, the insulin-like growth factor B binding protein will be activated. And in this way, the insulin-like growth factor will bind with the insulin-like growth factor binding protein. And it is triggered by the growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor receptor will be produced, which that lead to increase the PI3K pathway and AKT pathway which that is anti apoptotic effect and cell signaling pathway which that will be survive the cell on the other hand the head the resveratrol which that will be inhibit the ucp2 and the decreasing of the ucp2 is basically uh, uh, sorry it will be a trigger the ucp2 basically the inhibition of the ucp2 will lead to insulin inhibition but when the decrease of the uh, increase of the ucp2 will lead to sensitivity of insulin while on the other hand here is the lxr and pgc1 alpha as well as the ppr1 uh, alpha sorry which that is lead to inhibit uh, a stimulate sorry not inhibit is possible stimulate because it's used for the beta oxidation of the uh, metabolism so that is why the uh, fatty acid is used for the cell repair and adipogenesis will be decreased while the fat uh, adipogenesis will be decreased and lipid metabolism will be occur and this fat metabolization will be occur um, mobilization of the fat in for the repair of the plasma membrane repair of the nuclear membrane and lipid metabolism will be occur and the normal uh, repair of the dna and uh, um, due to this activity on the other hand the repairing of the whole cell due to the plasma membranes contain fats and the mostly cell content is made up of fats so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe this was the anti uh,